Cliff, you're a depth chart you're showing Balaam is like starting left tackle and Jack Rock is starting left guard. And turns back off air right tackle. Is that all accurate or I mean did you um, we'll have to back? check it out Saturday, um, and see how it rolls out there. But as of the day that's how it's listed. <laughs> Coach, what do you hope uh, bringing Manny and Mears onto the staff uh, can help your team with? Uh, everything, really. I think we, we have him in that player development role. Um, his story, the way he's grown as a man since I first met him as a freshman, and, and what he's accomplished in his life. And, um, you know, he's a big time Christian and treats people the right way. Just, I, I can't imagine a better role model for our players to be around. And, be able to connect with on a daily basis to manage with parents. And so that was first and foremost our thought. And obviously he has great football knowledge, but um, to begin with, that's going to be the capacity he'll, he'll be. Uh, all of them have an or by them. Is this based on how well they play in practice this week? Is that kind of the incentive for each one of those guys? It is. We've taken the approach it's day to day at that position. We feel like we have such good depth that if you want to come out and show up late or not bring it one day, that you'll probably be the back of the next, and that's what we've been striving for at every position. Uh, we feel like we've established that at wideout. So it's literally day to day who practices the best and go out there the next time we get started. In a game like this, you, you mentioned the depth there. Would you like to give players some more work? Ideally, how many carries does like a Justin Stockton get before you, you know, try to get to the younger guys? Because you mentioned on a conference call, kind of wishing you might have gotten Justin more reps last year. Yeah, I just whatever it takes for us to win the game, really. I don't set a number. I just know that he's a dynamic talent. And, uh, I think you see the type of explosive plays he's had so far since he's been here, but the touches um, have been less than, than what they should have because he had a great player in front of him. But he's going to get a bunch of touches, and we're going to get him the ball as much as he can handle right now. Can you talk about uh, Devin Lauderdale and where he's come from last December around the bowl time? To, to right now. It's night and day. The young man I've seen through the summer and through training camp is a different young man than what we saw um, previously. And I think he got a taste of the real world and he um, knew what he had lost and didn't ever want to feel that again. So he's been focused, he's been locked down, he's been early to everything, he's been working harder than he's ever worked. So he's, uh, he's had his best camp by far. And it's been fun to see. It's been good for those young wide receivers to see the way he's worked, the way he approaches every practice. And, very proud of him. Uh, and I know this is not a surprise, obviously, but all the uh, true freshmen that you're going to be playing at linebacker. Yeah, we're, we're excited. I think you look at their size, their athleticism, the experience. I mean, there's no substitute for experience, but they're big enough, they're strong enough, they're physical enough to play. Now it's just about getting them reps and getting them ready to go. But um, I, I'm just Excited to watch the play. I've seen them in practice. They've done a good job there. And so now when the lights come on, we'll see how they, they react. But it's been, been good so far. The progress your team may have been able to make over the spring and summer with penalties and cutting those down. Uh, is there, first of all, do you sense that they will be able to be better at that this year? And what do you look for during practice to kind of measure that? I know it's tough, but not a game situation all the time. Yeah, I think it's more overall perspective from discipline as a team, doing everything right on and off the field. And, and if that's an indication, this is a good group. I thought we made huge strides last year in those areas. And if we can make that same step, it'll really help our chances. I played in uh, Arkansas the last couple of years in non-conference and then Arizona State. Coming up quickly, does that change anything to do urgency-wise when you play, when you have a power five team on the schedule early in the year? I don't think so. I think you look at across the country playing one double A teams and they're quality opponents. In the last couple of years they scored a bunch of points on us. So we, we approached game one, um, throw everything into that and we worry about the next game after that.